I don't know about you, but when I was in elementary school, the games that we used to play during recess used to be serious business. Whether it be tag, dodgeball, or even hopscotch, these kids used to become extremely competitive at the idea of winning a game. Some kids acted like they were tributes from District 1 and 2, just training their whole life to show off their skills in the games. And by games, I don't mean the games games, I mean our recess games. So, fun fact, I'm from the province of Quebec in Canada, and one game that used to be extremely popular back then was called Ballon Poire, which could literally be translated as pear ball because it's sort of shaped like a pear, I guess. I'm not really sure if that's the official name of this equipment, but that's what we call it here. In most schoolyards in Quebec, you'll find metal bars that are drilled to the ground and vary in heights from 2 meters high to the height of 6 milk crates. So how it works, you tie the pear ball on a metal bar and each person would take turns in punching the ball as hard as they can and the first one to miss a turn loses. In theory, it's quite an innocent game, right? Although from what I understand, it's also a type of exercise ball, kind of like a speed bag or a punching bag that they use in boxing, so I'm not really sure why they would provide this to young kids, but um... Ooh, also, the thing with pair ball is that a lot of factors such as your height, stamina, your overall strength, all of these factors can affect your chances of winning. And it's not as easy as it looks, you know? And especially for someone like me, who was born with twig arms solely made out of skin and bones, I never stood a chance. Never. I draw most of my days, okay? I can barely lift up my own weight at the gym. When I go. If I go. Every time I play pair ball, either one of these three scenarios would occur. Number one, I would punch the ball a couple times and my hand would end up cramping up so I'd lose. Number two, I would try to punch the ball as hard as I can and scratch my hand on the thick place at the top of the ball and bleed out. Or number three, I would be paired with someone twice my size, give up immediately to avoid further embarrassment and silently do the walk of shame all the way to the back of the line. And these kids used to come prepared, you know? Some would come wearing thick hoodies to protect their arms. Others would bring their friends to act as human parasols to cover their eyes from the sun so that their vision would be at full capacity. And sometimes, when the really good players would show up to play, they would somehow end up with an entourage of other kids to cheer them on. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kinda salty about that one. And I don't really have a valid reason for making an entire video about this game that I used to play over a decade ago. A grudge, you may call it. But anyways, I'm curious to know if Pear Ball is also popular where you're from, so please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time! first time recording, I sound like Pikachu, I hate it here. <laughs>